problem. Okay. Uh, is the sound okay? Oh yeah, sounds great. <laughs> All right, so um, we will need probably 10, 15 minutes. I'm still waiting for the principal. Oh, okay, that's no problem. All right, okay, thank you. Okay, I just want to make sure. Yeah, come on. Yeah, we're trying to make <laughs> That's true. I'm sorry if we normally would have a big screen. But... Hello,你好,我是Jane。好,我是Jane。好,我是Jane。好,我是Jane。好,我是Jane。好,我是Jane。好,我是Jane。好,我是Jane。好,我是Jane。好,我是Jane。好,我是Jane。好,我是Jane
開始。等校長就可以開始。好嘅，好啦，七點半。真係阿嚟我嚟呢啊！十光成七點半嘅。係見唔見校長架車？或者你哋坐一個台都得，但係褪前少少就得啦。OK， 特別食啦。就困難啦。做乜要打？係啊。我哋係咪瞄咗？頭先撳咗一次，但唔知係咪？
can you see us? Yes, very clear. Okay. Yeah, we're Catherine. We're using uh, our connection through Region Thirteen, but we're on our computer, so uh, it's kind of a melding of two technologies here. All right, no problem. Well, uh, we're uh, very interested. We, we're having a parent meeting as well as uh, uh, having some of our students here. And I have the YMCA, uh, our, our, our city YMCA director here, Aaron. And uh, my building principal is, is kind of occupied right now, so I don't know if they're going to be here or not, so I may have to offer some apologies. But we are uh, very glad to... Uh, to meet you, and we're very glad to be able to uh, start a process in which we hopefully will end up in, uh, you know, in a, a much uh, better relationship. And uh, we we're so excited that a couple of parents wanted just to come and, and uh, actually find out a little bit more about it too. So I invite them. So we have three students, and yeah, same here, Michael. We are very excited, and I hope it really works. So I'll introduce the gentleman next to me. That's our school principal, Mr. Chan. Hello. Hello. Hi. I'm Daniel. <laughs> nice to meet you. Oh, nice to meet you. Uh, it is half past seven in the morning in Hong Kong. What time is it in your side? Uh, 6.30 at night. At night? Okay. Yeah. So yeah. You're, you're having your dinner soon. <laughs> yeah, yeah, we're having our dinner soon. In fact, we were going to think of something that would be really kind of cool. One day we would eat breakfast with you guys at night, and we could watch you eat your breakfast, and we could eat our, our, our food here. So it would be uh, a virtual way to, uh, to eat. But, uh, yeah, it, it's, uh, we, we are very hungry to learn more about you guys. <laughs> yes, we do. We're also hungry. Thank you. We are very excited to having this kind of wonderful experience, to having breakfast to, together. <laughs> yeah, I like that. You know, uh, uh, we could bring some breakfast tacos and we could be munching on those right now. They were good any time of the day. And uh, we get a little barbecue and, you know, we could have a, we could have a good old time and you could bring some noodles and, and ramen and, it, you know, and uh, all kinds of good. Uh, yeah, I know, but. I watch a lot of Korean and <laughs> I watch a lot of Korean and, and Taiwan and, and and Chinese dramas, so I kinda know what some people eat, but you know, I, I don't think it's really realistic watching dramas either. So I, I'd like to actually meet people and see what they really eat. Although in Texas we kinda we are having together with us a, the company of three of our students. Would you like to introduce yourself? Okay, sure. Uh, Hi everyone. Hi. Hi. On the man. So uh, I'm Ricky from uh, year twelve. And hello, I'm Claudia from year twelve too. And I'm Mandy from year twelve. Wow! Congratulations! And you dressed up so nicely today too. <laughs> Is that your? Yes, we ha they have to wear a uniform. Yes, their uniform. No, that's not a uniform. Is I thought those were just regular dress clothes. That looks so good. That that really does look nice. <laughs> now we didn't dress up in a uniform, although we have like YMCA clothes on. But our students are going to do some stuff. Go ahead. Um, hello, my name is Cecilia. Um, I'm in ninth grade. Oh. Um, my name is Jackie, and I'm in ninth grade. My name is Carrie, and I'm in twelfth grade. Okay. So, and then uh, Stephanie is in twelfth grade, and uh, Cameron in eleventh grade, but they just had to leave for some other uh, deals. And uh, this is their parents. Miguel Perez, I'm uh, Cecilia. And as you might could tell, uh, many of our students will speak English and Spanish as well. 
And actually, which is really exciting, we have one oh. student that just came from uh, Hong Kong and enrolled in our school. So we actually have one student that is uh, a Chinese native that will speak Chinese as well. And he couldn't make it. A very warm welcome to all of you from Hong Kong. Thank you. Hello Thank you. From Texas. Oh, yeah. And I'll, I guess I'll introduce myself. Um, I'm Aaron Douglas. I'm the YMCA director at a local Y here that runs this program or helps. I'm their liaison for their youth and government program at uh, this high school. And uh, I don't know how the YMCA's are in Hong Kong, but the YMCA's here are very active in the school. And uh, we run a program called Youth and Government. So it's a lot more than just hostels or hotels or uh, athletic facilities like it is in some parts of the world. Right, yeah, the, the Y in, in the U.S. is a little bit more, um, well, we, we're really in the community, but we also have like health and basically fitness centers and that kind of thing. Whereas I think around the world, um, there's hostels and there's um, different types of youth programs. Uh, do you guys have a YMCA there in Hong Kong? I think so. Yes, we, we have YMCA here in Hong Kong, a very strong NGO. We have also had YWCA too. Oh, wow, yeah. Good. My grandmother used to work at the YWCA <laughs> for a long time. But the, y, the YWCA is not as large here in the United States as it used to be. Yeah. The, the, y, the YMCA. The same in Hong Kong. Oh, okay. At one time when I grew up in Minnesota, they used to be almost similar, or not similar, but I mean about the same size and something's happened. But anyways, that's enough said. Uh, tell us a little bit about your school, and we'll tell you a little bit about our school. Okay, good. Um, perhaps our student will tell more about our school to you. Okay, sure. Um, actually, our school is located at a very nice place with, um, like, very like many trees and flowers are planted nearby. So um, actually our school has a area of 7,000 square meters, which is a very big campus. And it is uh, fully facilitated with a lot of uh, lab laboratories, which is uh, beneficial to our studies. Like, we are have, like when we're having um, science subjects, um, we can also go to the laboratories and perform some experiments. As well as, um, I mean, apart from that, we can also um, we we do we do have a cookery room, which is um, used to um, when when we are having home economic lessons. So we can we can actually go to the um, cookery room to perform like cooking and to uh, learn more life skills. Yeah, like this. Wow. That's really good. So. <laughs> so, um like um like where where we are located, this <clears throat> excuse me. This laboratory is actually an, an an ecology laboratory, which is actually a geography laboratory. So, um it is well uh, it is fully facilitated with a lot of um a lot, many pieces of equipment. So, um, so it makes our life very, you know, very delighted. <laughs> yeah, make our school life very happy. Oh, cool! Wow, that's really neat. Yeah, that's nice. So now we are showing you the view of our ecology lab. In the past, it is a geography room. It takes the curriculum to include ecology and environment conservation into our curriculum. That is why we established this kind of ecology laboratory. Wow, that's really good. That's very impressive. You must have a very dynamic leader, school leader there, huh? <laughs> But the most important is a dynamic group of staff and also students. Oh, yeah. And I think those teachers probably need a good raise, too, right? Excuse me. <laughs> I'm sorry. Excuse me, no, I, was trying, I was trying to be really nice. 
Uh, in uh, Catherine, uh, tell us a little bit about your position there and um, at the school, and and what do you do as a social studies chairman? Uh, I'm the head of the social science board, and I handle the whole uh, social science subjects, including um, economics, liberal studies, <coughs> uh, business and accounting, Chinese history. And on top, I teach economics and uh, liberal studies, and I handle the video conferences. Wow. Which is part of my life. <laughs> wow, that's really good. It's very impressive, too. Uh, we'll tell you a little bit about our school, if you'd like to know. We have about 3,300 students. Yes, yes, sure. Uh, we're located about two miles from the International Airport here in Austin. Austin's the capital of Texas, and we have about two million people live in the Austin greater area. Uh, we're kind of known as a live music capital of Texas, or live music capital of the world, I guess, I don't know. But... Uh, we are in our school district itself. We're uh, about a mile and a half or so from our uh, Formula One race uh, that's coming up, and uh, we're going to be about a mile or so away from one of the largest water parks in the uh, uh, inland water parks. Are building, of course, uh, people are building a water park just down the road here too. So, <laughs> yeah, uh, it's a uh, it's a pretty dynamic uh, place, but most of ours. It's kind of a mixture between city and rural. So we'll have students who are urban and we'll have students who are, are rural still. So it, we're kind of like an urban, an urban community right outside of uh, Austin. Uh, we have school to, uh, from nine to 12 uh, grades. And uh, I actually teach a debate and speech or a debate in government. And uh, we work with the uh, YMCA program here and Cecilia will be one of the uh, students who will be participating with her partner doing some uh, moot courts. And uh, I think that's a, about it. Maybe uh, for the, the students uh, in the United States here, we're uh, in, in our age group, we're probably maybe 90% Hispanic uh, in, our, in our school. Uh, so it's diverse in the respect that we have a lot of people that will speak Spanish, and a lot of people maybe speak Spanish at home and English here. So we have a lot of second language learners, and that's pretty common throughout the state of Texas. And uh, we're uh, anything else? Well, I was gonna say maybe Cecilia wanted to share anything. But do you think of anything? Well, it's really fun here. I like my electives, having a go to dance. Um, I also have gym, which is really fun too. So we get to do activities and play around, play volleyball or different activities. Okay, so you know, that's pretty much, uh, I guess you would say, we're located about six or seven miles, or maybe 10 miles from the nearest mall. Uh, most kids like go mall, you know, just like everything else. We're located about seven miles from downtown, seven miles from the state capital, probably about five miles from where the YMCA is at. So, you know, even though some of our students are, are from rural areas, uh, we're really located very close to the city. In fact, uh, so close that the way they change it up, we're probably the closest school to the airport now. Uh, and we used to be right across from the airport. It used to be an Air Force base. Uh, that sounds great, Micah. Um, shall we talk about the exchange? See if the parents or your YMC staff would like to ask something. Oh, goodness. Well, so we so can get familiar with what we're looking for in the future. Yeah. Um, so, from what Mr. Cunningham is saying, we may eventually want to plan some sort of um, maybe at least sometime in the distant future plan some sort of a trip like I guess we would love to have more international with our YMCA uh, so we extend the invite like if there's ever a time you guys want to visit we could probably accommodate that somehow um, or vice versa but I think obviously these kinds of things take a lot of planning so um, we're kind of just wanting to get the ball rolling on 
um, continuing these kinds of conferences and learning from each other, but also maybe someday the law school can come here and visit so um, the students can learn about um, the different types of government and or vice versa at some, some point, maybe we can go there. Um, but yeah, I think that there's a lot we can, you know, kind of build on. So. Yeah, they're very interested in having you guys come. Uh, the parents are very interested in trying to uh, meet uh, different people in different cultures. And then we'd be very interested in trying to do the same, uh, you know, next fall or something to that effect. We also wanted uh, to mention that the Y has about 10, 11 other schools in this area, and they might be interested in trying to do some things as well. So uh, we might want to add and maybe make a, 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 a people coming, maybe several schools coming back to Hong Kong, you know, a group of representatives from our school, representatives from a couple other schools as well. But we would let you meet them on the way over. So if you came over here, then you would meet uh, people from uh, a couple of the high schools. You get to meet some of, the, of our uh, politicians, and you would get to meet, you know, quite a few different people here in uh, in Texas. It'll be a lot of fun because we're in, getting in the middle of a silly political season with a lot of uh, politics. So I don't think we have any problem at all trying to bring some politicians to come and uh, talk because they they would love to. Uh, we have a, a primary coming up on March the 1st, which uh, is going to be pretty big maybe for some people. So we might like get a, a, quite a few uh, people interested in coming to talk. Thank you. Thank you. I think it's good. Um, we have uh, a long history for this kind of school exchange mm -hmm. and to the mainland China, to Australia, and to Italy, and also to Taiwan. And we are looking forward to building this kind of partnership with school uh, in elsewhere, especially in Texas. Um, perhaps um, we are, there are lots of exciting things that we can uh, do during the exchange. Uh, the most importantly is uh, trying to let the student um, in our school and also at your school know about each other so they can appreciate the multicultural perspective in the different places. Oh yeah, I think that would be really good for us because uh, we don't get to meet as many, uh, we'll, we'll meet people, but we don't get to meet as many international people here as, as we would probably like to do. I think global learning is so important because it really does uh, what you said, which is it, it gives youth a global perspective versus their own little perspective of their world, you know, and it really opens them up to different experiences and puts them it, it just in a, in a better place to understand other cultures and other, and other ways of life. And um, we, that's something I'm actually very passionate about here. Um, so, and if you guys came to Austin, I think, you know, there, we could obviously uh, make it a really fun experience, but primarily obviously kids would learn from each other. Yeah, I think we'd end up making a whole lot better world. Uh, too many people nowadays, are, especially in the States, are too concerned about themselves and not concerned about other people around the world. It, it gets to be real troublesome. I think a lot has to do with the way we educate people. Yeah. What were you saying, Catherine? So, Micah, yeah, we're just thinking, if any idea, uh, how would you like the programs to start? Would your students like to come over first, or you would want us to go over there? When is the best time? How much time would you need to prepare the host families, if we could discuss about this? Okay, yeah. Uh, uh, my suggestion, we talked to Aaron, would be that you would come here first, and... Uh, Maybe you and a principal, you and somebody would come like, uh, in a couple months or whatever, and then come in April. Uh, we got some really good activities planned in April, uh, some really special ones, maybe on a international basis. And then uh, we would look to trying to do something the next year at the same time on this part. 
I think I'll jump in too. I know that international trips aren't, they're, they're not cheap and they're, you know, it takes a lot of planning. Um, so I think we're really just in the very introductory phase of this. Um, it's something I would need to discuss with the YMCA too, but I think we could, depending on what kind of timeline you guys need, um, we would be ready to figure out hosting and figure out kind of what that looks like on our end. I, I think, you know, really depends on maybe how soon what? you guys could arrange something to come she, here. She had told me earlier that they were ready to go in November and then I- Oh, really? Okay, yeah, okay so, never mind, sorry. I so uh, I think that we could we could go that timeline and we could be working on our timeline to do it in, in a year from now for us. So if we could if we could start that, that would be great. I think that would give us enough lead time to uh, get a couple of schools involved and get some people involved. In, and I'd really like to have the host families actually get to go back uh, and then they get to have their children go to Hong Kong. So that would be kind of fun. I think it would be better if the, um, um, a delegation from each school can visit um, each other first to yeah, know more about um, uh, the, the school wow. and so that we can plan and then to give the confidence for the students and the parents that um, this is the, a, a good place for us to do exchange. Okay. We so before we, set, we are, before we send our students uh, to, to your school, perhaps we need to um, uh, organize a visit for the staff or so that we, we, we can meet first and then we discuss about the detail about how the exchange will be doing in the future. Sounds good to me. Yeah, I think that makes sense as long as that's something you guys are able to do. Um, it would be great to meet you guys and kind of plan the program together and then I guess, you know, launch it later on with the kids. Yes, yes. When so perhaps we can send you an invitation letter to invite your principal as well as your staff to visit Hong Kong first, uh, perhaps for, uh, for a few days and then uh, we can uh, organize and reciprocate it, visit okay. to, to your school and okay. before uh, we, we plan for the next step. Okay, that sounds really good. We'll be glad to do that then. And uh, we'll send our principal or we'll send somebody from our central office to, uh, to try to see it. Uh, I'll send invitations out and we'll see what we can do, okay? Yes, you will be good. Sounds cool. <laughs> okay. Well, we really thank you so much. <laughs> Very wonderful. Thank you. Mm. Okay, and shall we keep in touch um, okay. with each other through email and yeah. plan for the next uh, stage? Okay. Sounds good. Sounds good. Thank you so we are much. We're looking forward to, to receiving you in Hong Kong. Okay. Sounds thank good. you. Thank you so Bye. much. Nice to meet you guys. Bye.